Size exclusion chromatography is also called gel filtration chromatography. These two names may make you misunderstand what is actually happening. In the previous videos, we have talked about chromatography as being a process where an adsorbate is adsorbed to the surface of an adsorbent. However, that is not the case in size exclusion chromatography. In size exclusion chromatography, there is no interaction at all between the molecules and the surface of the porous particles. No adsorption, no nothing. Instead, size exclusion chromatography separates molecules based on their size. A size exclusion uh, chromatography column, or SEC column, is packed with porous particles. Small molecules can enter into the pores of, of the porous particles, while larger molecules cannot. Thus, smaller particles have a longer residence time in the column, and larger molecules a shorter residence time. SEC is typically slower than ordinary chromatography due to the absence of surface interaction, so you need a longer column. As an example, SEC can be used for protein desalting. The salt ions are small and can enter into the pores and get a longer residence time, while the proteins are too large to enter the pores and thus get a shorter residence time. Since we have molecules with different residence times, we get not one, but two breakthrough curves. One breakthrough curve for the large molecules and one breakthrough curve for the small molecules. The area above the breakthrough curve for the large molecule is proportional to the void volume, since the large molecules can only represent in the void volume of the column. The area above the breakthrough curve for the small molecules is proportional to the sum of the void volume and the pore volume, since the small molecules can travel between the void volume and the pore volume. It should be noted that you must take care when translating the areas above the breakthrough curves uh, to volume units. Think carefully about what is on the x-axis and what is on the y-axis, and thus what the area unit is, before you try to translate the area to volume units.